Hello and welcome to a special edition of Megawatt News live from the Toshiba Spring Collection launch in Ware, England. I'm Stuart Miles. The headlines today, Toshiba announced a concept design for a new television, Microsoft launched details about Gears 2, Logitech try and woo Gran Turismo fans, and Toshiba shows off their new portable DVD player range. First up, Toshiba DVDs. Toshiba SDP120DT, a bit of a mouthful I know, is a portable DVD player designed for the home. Yes, this is supposed to be portable. It's quite heavy. It's, uh, it's got a massive 12 inch screen and it has the ability to plug straight into a TV area at the back to play Freeview as well. The three hour battery life is hopefully the idea is that you'll have this in your kitchen, then once you've finished cooking, take it into your breakfast room. Once you've finished eating, take it back to your office to carry on working and watching television. It's an interesting concept. It's going to cost about £300 when it launches in April, and that's the SDP 120 DP from Toshiba. Toshiba might have announced that it's ditching the HD DVD format this week, but that hasn't stopped them launching a range of new DVD players at their annual event in Ware, England. The SD280E will be the entry level, while we have a mid-range called the SD480E, and there is a top of the range called the SD580E. Now, the entry level is exciting because it's a branded player that's only going to cost you around about £30 when it launches next month. The 480 and 580 are exciting because rather than offer you HD DVD content, it will upscale your DVDs to full HD quality 1080p, which is quite cool. Plus, there'll be DivX and a host of other features included at a reasonable price of about 50 to 80 pounds. Toshiba might have launched a load of new televisions today with lots of functions like game mode and things like that. However, the thing that's caught our eye the most is this concept design. Now, ignore the frame completely. What you're looking at is the picture. Basically, it's the idea it works very similar to upscaling DVDs in that it takes a standard definition feed, a signal, and then upscales that to high definition. Now, they've got it demoed here, and as you can see with the water, for example, it's a lot clearer than there, or the flamingos. Look at the... Uh, bird's feathers there compared to the bird's feathers here. Now the idea, this is going to roll out into the flagship models and it basically means that if you've got a high definition television with a standard definition feed, which most of us have, you'll actually be able to get a better picture quality all round. Other news today, Microsoft has announced at the Games Developer Conference that it will be releasing Gears of War 2 in November. Gamers who have already signed up to the 4.5 million copies sold of the first title will be able to relive the Marines as they take over the universe and defy the hordes of evil baddies that are coming after them. Also at the conference, Microsoft confirmed that Fable 2 and a host of other games will be coming to the Xbox 360 later in the year. And last up, in other gaming news, PS3 owners keen to get their hands on Gran Turismo 5 next month will have another thing to look forward to at the same time. Logitech has announced that it will be creating a dedicated steering wheel with brake pad that will give you force feedback, brake bias and a number of other car experiences. There's a 24 dial button that gives you on the fly control and everything should be pretty groovy for fans of the motor racing game. Due out sometime in May, unfortunately, you'll have to get used to using the joypad first. It should cost around about £80 here in the UK. They were the top stories today. Katie will be back in the hot seat tomorrow, but from here in where, thanks for watching.